you know, stronger entries than right this second. All right, so the reason that we're seeing um, a bit of a pump on D-Gods, we got Frank coming out and saying, uh, I don't know how to really say this, to almost dead, the d it. So a new profile that you have if you own a D-God. Um, did you, you say D-ID or D-I-D? So D-E-I-D. Here it is on your screen. So D-I-D. Yeah. It's almost D-God's ID, right? Yep. So if you own a Utes or D-God's, um, you'll, you'll get this um, ID and they've combined their discords together. You'll be able to authenticate that you own um, on any of the blockchains because remember they also have the Bitcoin D-God's um, and then you'll be shown as an owner. And it's basically going to be a community together where you can follow other DGOD youth holders. They also say that there's going to be a way to verify that you are a holder on Twitter coming soon. And basically just like a community um, where you, um, everyone can come together. They have also said that if you want updates, you can sign up. This is from their Dust Labs account. Um, I will do a standalone video for from this and, and put this in the description. Um, but basically that it's going to be a one-stop digital hub for all Utes and DGODs holders where they can communicate with each other safely and verify that they are actually holders or automatically follow each other on different platforms. Um, and things like that. It's not the first to do it. I mean, Moonbirds had a very similar thing. Um, and so, you know, alone is not, you know, the, the uh, something that's revolutionary. But again, just showing that Frank is, is in touch with his community, he's making it easier, he's consolidating the Discord into one Discord, and he wants to get the community um, to be able to follow each other and integrate it into Twitter um, and different uh, yeah platforms easier. If you are a holder, you now can verify easily and uh, get in touch with other holders. It's kind of funny how quickly like Frank will go like hard as fuck on Twitter for a few weeks and or like even just like a week and then he'll just be like he'll kind of like disappear and then just drop an announcement out of nowhere. It's like the same exact strategy every time he like goes hard as fuck, goes silent, drops an announcement, kind of waits a couple days for people to debate about it. Then he starts going on talking about it and then he disappears again and then it repeats. And it's so funny because it fucking works every time, bro. So yeah, I think also, I mean, that might not even be intentional. It might literally be he's been working on this, you know, and these announcements for the last week or two, um, you know, and focused on that before announcing. Then he announces, now he starts working on the next thing, right? Mm. So and my, and we've seen the same with Yuga. They do the same thing. They, you, they sort of come up with this train of announcements and then they go quiet for a long time and then they come out with updates. I think it's just, you know... Uh, might be strategically timed to some degree, but I think it's also building. I, I, I don't think this existed two weeks ago when he was making other announcements against other, uh, about other things, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.